Hey guys, Block Central here, and today I'm taking a look at Coins and Steel. This is a project that I recently discovered on the blockchain, and it is in pre-sale currently, and it looks pretty good, so we're going to take a look at it. Uh, it is being built on the Loom network, so it is a sidechain of the Ethereum network, and it is a uh, game that leverages blockchain technology to make your presence in the game unique. So it is a pretty much open world uh, RPG where you, you know, have a character, you go out and you can either do, uh, you know, PvE, go and fight, you know, goblins, ogres, uh, you know, enemies in the game to collect resources, coins, other things like that. Or you can go out and fight players and, uh, you know, earn as well, maybe, uh, you know, trade and bet things, uh, all using the power of the blockchain. So they are focusing on building an amazing game first and foremost. They are using blockchain technology because it will allow them to empower players uh, more than ever before. But to make that matter, they will build a world and experience the players will feel engaged with. So they actually want players to be able to do things. So they're going to have an uh, open market where you can go and, uh, you know, sell your resources, your, you know, weapons, armor, your items to other players. You can earn some, you know, coins that you can trade for ether and then you know make some money from it so you don't directly make uh, you know fiat you don't directly make usd you don't directly make money in the game however you do collect and earn coins uh, that you can trade for crypto so there is a finite amount of resources in the game which gives it uh, you know kind of a uh, rarity factor and give it some value as well as the you know ability to convert the coins and uh, you know open marketplace you can you know, go in, fight some goblins, some, you know, monsters, earn some coins, trade that for some ether, uh, you know, get some weapons, some swords, get a nice, uh, you know, armor set, and then sell it, you know, uh, level it up, get its value up, and, uh, you know, things like that. So, it's going to have transparent game development, so it's built by them, uh, played by you, active development, you can see how they're working on it. Fully decentralized, it's built on the Loom network, as I said, or being built. Uh, no downtimes, no removal, because it's on the blockchain, and unrestricted in-game marketplace. So everything that you own is yours. It is a uh, you know blockchain token, a crypto token, and it goes into your wallet. It's not part of their game, and you keep it forever. So you can see some exciting adventures. Uh, this is just some of the current graphics. Obviously still in development that they have for the game some of the weapons and armor that you can see uh, like Some goblins level 75 it appears and you know some of the world that you can go and explore So it says get ready to dive into a vast open world filled with da uh, dangers hidden treasures and resources to be collected prepare to visit uh, green forests magma lands snowy mountains sandy beaches and many other mysterious locations uh, so they're having a founder sale uh, with open C, so if you can go, where we got, I just had it open. Here we go. Uh, open C, you can see they got a bunch of weapons and armor, different things for sale, at a reasonable price. However, it's currently at the moment not able to be bought. Uh, apparently, they send them out in waves or something. It was last sold for 0.18 for like the sword. Uh, you can see the last ones that were sold were 15 hours ago, four days ago. So obviously they occasionally add some out to, you know, OpenSea. Uh, it's on pre-sale, which is what this is for. This is helping fund the game's development. So, you know, the more that you, you know, buy during the pre-sale, the more that they'll have to be able to make the game with and, you know, help them out. So definitely check it out if interested at all. And, yeah, so tokenized economy. You'll be able to add your crypto kitty as a pet. If you have any crypto kitties, you'll be able to add them from, uh, you know, that game over into here. And uh, they'll have their own bonuses, traits, stats, things like that, depending on their DNA that will assist you in the game. Uh, you can build, craft, and deconstruct. So crafting is an essential part of coins and steel. Create a wide range of useful things like potions, scrolls, food, armor, weapons, and much more. Even siege weaponry. So a bunch of things you can do, a bunch of things you can craft and make. Sell them all on the marketplace in the game. Uh, seamless onboarding, so it's going to be very easy to start. There's going to be zero fees, no gas fees, uh, no payments, so it's not going to be pay to play. It's not going to be, uh, you know, pay to win. You're just going to be able to jump on, not even know that it's on the blockchain, and start earning, and then take some of those coins, convert it to Ether, and, uh, you know, make a little bit of money. So you enjoy the community. I assume that'll take you to the Discord or something else, one of the other uh, socials that they have. You can see some of them down here, uh, Medium, Twitter, Telegram, 
So yeah, that's pretty much the site at the moment. It's still early in development, so we won't be seeing any, uh, you know, actual full release for a little bit. I believe they should have some sort of white paper or roadmap somewhere. I don't think it might be directly on the site. You might have to go to a uh, side link for it, but uh, they definitely have something on there. It's probably on their Discord or one of their socials. But yeah, definitely a good-looking game. Uh, the graphics look, you know, definitely not bad. The fact that it has to be made on the blockchain, uh, you know, can't be perfect. Some of these details and designs look really good. And, uh, you know, the idea of the game looks, you know, really intriguing, and uh, I like the idea of it. <clears throat> so it's something that I'm definitely going to have to uh, keep a close eye on and see how the development goes. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'll have definitely have a link in the description if you guys want to go and check it out. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next one. So peace out.